five minutes before nine right now. The first Earth run starts today, and in the Fridays coming up in the next several weeks, we're going to be following its progress. A torch is going to be carried from New York and across nearly 50 countries and then back to New York in December as part of a celebration of the International Year of Peace and the 40th anniversary of UNICEF. Several of the world's finest musicians are helping kick off the celebration today. Our special correspondent, Bruce Jenner, is at the UN with Peter Gabriel and Stephen Van Zandt. Hi, Bruce. David. Bruce, tell me, how is this going to work? What's actually going to happen? Well, there's going to be a lot of music today, a lot of things happening, but the torch is actually sort of the center of today's uh, celebration. It's going to start here today. For 86 days, it's going to be going around the world. But two of the gentlemen who are really involved with the music, because as we've seen in the past, music is very important to these things, is Peter Gabriel and Steve Van Zandt. And first, Peter, could you tell me a little bit about the music for this? Well, I got involved a couple of years ago uh, with the University for Peace, and that was set up to represent the people of the world in the same way that the United Nations represents the governments of the world. And uh, we want to change people's perception of the word peace and get millions of people actively participating in all its sort of related areas, whether it be environment, economics, or uh, social change, human rights, etc. And, uh, and we believe that University for Peace can uh, become a central communications network for all of that. Steve, you're no stranger to something like this. I know with your involvement with music and to change people's political beliefs, is how, you've been involved with it now for a few years, how important is it and how much of an effect really does it have on changes? It's very important. Uh, we're just now emerging, I think, from a long period where people have been very quiet, hiding away, uh, thinking they're the only ones who are against apartheid in South Africa or against pollution or nuclear weapons, whatever it is. And, um, what we do is just provide a voice for those people, and the University for Peace will do that as well. Provide a voice for the people who thought they were alone, but actually uh, uh, they're thinking the same as a lot of people. And, and it's time to come out and start fighting back. You know? I know one of the reasons I got involved with this project is because I'm a, I'm a concerned parent, and I know you have uh, two children. Peter, is that one of the reasons you got involved? Yeah, definitely. I want my kids to have a future, and I really believe that uh, one of the things that recent events has shown is that individuals, uh, if they get their voice together, can make a difference in this world. And, uh, and we really want to see a lot more people getting into this campaign. Right. Bruce, you're going to be the you're going to kick off the torch running today. You're going to be the guy. <laughs> well, actually, I uh, I am. My tenny rompers are right behind the stage. I'm going to slip into those babies, and for the first time in many years, I'm going to take off down First Avenue. Streaking down First Avenue, Bruce Jenner. Bruce, <laughs> thank thank the guys for me. All right, I will. And thank you, and to all of you who are watching us and listening this morning. If you'd like to get involved in the First Earth Run, right to this dress, First Earth run information office 866 united nations plaza unicef a 4 a new york new york 10017 now that's it for the weather now let's go to another map and check in on the earth run now as you may know the earth run is a zigzag affair a ribbon of light circling the globe with a message of peace and hope for our children it will end where it began about 10 days ago at the united nations some Native Americans started a fire out here on the lawn. And it's going to be the, the, the uh, fire that we light the torch from that will begin its journey around the globe. And on December 11th, this exact torch will return to this lawn. It's the 40th anniversary of UNICEF. And it will come back to us after 86 days of traveling around the world to light an eternal flame of peace. Joining Sandy Duncan at the ceremony was our own Bruce Jenner, no amateur when it comes to global games of peace or the symbols that carry them. But the torch has, is such a powerful symbol, either for athletics, through bringing peace through the world through athletics, or through the first Earth run. You know, this torch is going to start here today, and it's going to go for the next 86 days throughout the world. Just back up. Serious. And so the first Earth run began, with a young Italian boy named Tino carrying the torch. And then from hand to hand, the flame made its way north, through New York and Connecticut, through daylight and dusk, 
And finally, for the weary but jubilant runners, it was Boston. This energy of just what brings us all together here and all the communities around the world is just so immense for me, the feeling that just kept me running all the way to Boston. Symbolically, to be able to ca and carry that light and be part of this thread of golden light that's being described in the literature is very exciting to me. By the time it gets back to New York, that earth-run torch will have made it to the top of the Eiffel Tower, the top of Mount Everest, and across the Great Wall of China. And we'll be following the earth-run every Friday. It's time now to check in on the first earth-run. Now, as you know, the Torch of Peace began its journey September 16th. Last week, we traveled with it through North America. Now it takes us to Eastern Europe. First stop across the Atlantic from Canada, Prague, Czechoslovakia where the torch was passed to Selina Cicir of Kenya, and then shared with hometown favorite Jan Zmek. A short flight later, it was Warsaw, Nigeria's Abbas Mohammed guarding the flame. Then, official medals for the runners, and for the Earth Run Torch, a Polish fanfare. For the patriotic movement, for a day later, the Earth Run made its way to Moscow as thousands of Russians gathered for a rally round the Kremlin and for a look at the Torch of Peace. Two days later, on to Leningrad, and thousands more turned out to see, to cheer, and to touch the hand of Phil Weingarner, a runner from a place somewhere across the world, America. The Earth Run is in Amsterdam today, tomorrow Paris, then London. We'll check in with it again next Friday, right? Well, that's it for the weather, and now here's our map for the first Earth Run. Now, last week we followed the flame of peace as runners took it through the Soviet Union. This week it's on to Europe, and our first stop is Budapest. A bright, sunny day in the Hungarian capital. All eyes are on Katalin Morvai as she carries the torch of peace. And then the lighting ceremony as the Earth Run team prepares for its next stop, East Berlin. There... At a special monument for the victims of World War II, the Earth One Flame is dedicated to continued world peace. From East Berlin, it was on to the Netherlands. The flame now in the hands of Milka Singh, the Indian track star and three-time Olympian. And it was Prince Klaus of the Netherlands lighting the flame at the Peace Palace in The Hague. In London last Sunday, a beautiful day for sightseeing and for carrying the flame of peace. And then at Battersea Park, the Earth Run's European coordinator, Paul Clark, speaks to the children. Whatever dream you have, stay with it because you can make it come true. Sunday night brought the torch to Lyon, France, where 60,000 faithful watched runner Stéphane Chartreau hand the flame of peace to the Prince of Peace, Pope John Paul II. The Earth Run is in Barcelona, Spain today, and next week, Jerusalem and the Middle East, and then on to the rest of Africa. Now that's it for the weather. Now let's check in on the Earth Run map. Our first stop this week is France and a few words from Earth Run organizer David Gershon in Paris. The purpose of the Earth Run and this torch of peace is very simple. It is to bring as many people together all over the world to recognize that we must work actively and creatively for peace in our world. From Paris to Birmingham, England, the runner, Linford Christie, as a steel drum band echoes through Victoria Square. Then to Ireland. Both two- and four-legged runners, 
the torch of peace from Dublin to Belfast in the north. Barcelona is next by day and night. The flame wends its way across Spain, and finally to Italy, and a dramatic climax in Rome. The Earth Run is in Nairobi, Kenya today, the Ivory Coast and Zimbabwe tomorrow, then on through the rest of Africa.